So, Millennia Blade of Michaela is a boss that's giving people a lot of trouble, and I discovered a pretty great cheese strat for it. It does rely on a certain build. This is a bleed build with Arcane using the Dragon Communion Seal and the Swarm of Flies incantation, as well as the Mimic Tier. And I've got a couple Curve Swords that do bleed. So, a lot of bleed stacking, and the reason for that is not just because of the damage it does to Michaela, of the Blade McKella, it's because of the stun it will put on it. And the great thing about the Swarm of Flies is it will actually float and follow her even into the air and be able to stagger her out of that crazy attack that can one-shot you or just heal the crap out of her because she does heal whenever she lands a hit. So being able to get that bleed, that guaranteed stun, and be able to follow up with some extra attacks in addition is pretty great. And it actually seemed to make this fight not just doable, but really easy. I would really describe this as a cheese strat. And honestly, you can probably just sit back and use a shield and just throw these flies at her, and your Mimic tier should take care of the rest. However, if she does start rushing at you, and you, know, you don't have a great shield or something crazy to deal with that spin attack, I found that the Bloodhound step was enough to get me out of trouble most of the time. Not just give me enough iframes to dodge through the attacks, but also enough distance to get away and then get back to spamming these flies. So, you'll see the Bloodhound step there. There, there's the Bloodhound step. So two of them give you an insane amount of distance, like you know, 30 meters or something. You just fly back, and then you can keep spamming your flies. So, flies and Bloodhound Step, or flies and a Great Shield, and maybe even Bloodhound Step in addition. You just keep spamming those flies. You get a Mimic tier that can, you know, survive some hits. I have 50 bigger on this build, and I believe that scales with the, the Mimic tier as well, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure on that. But it'll certainly help you survive if you have some bigger. A bunch of Arcane, this Fly spell, and then something to help get you out of dodge, whether it's that Great Shield or the Bloodhound Step when she starts that spinning attack, if you can't get the flies to interrupt it. Though a lot of the time, it will. So, I hope this helps. Uh, some of y'all beat this chick. She is super rough, but quite a fight indeed. And I hope this doesn't ruin it too much for you. But if you're having trouble, this is a great way to just get by it. And there's the stat spread. And then we'll take a look at that incantation, which you have to find in Mog's Palace, uh, or Mogwin's Palace, which is the Lord of Blood's secret area. So this is a tricky incantation to find, but you can look it up on the wiki if you're having trouble. So sub if you'd like more Elden Ring content. Leave a question or a comment if you'd like. I will respond to all those and stay milky.